today I'll be taking a quick look at the Transformers Mighty Mugs Optimus Prime. And this is the San Diego Comic Con 2009 exclusive uh, version. Now, before I go any further, the reason I got the, the uh, special edition, not because I actively was looking for it, but because they were the same price and I figured, well, I'll go and get this one instead. So, uh, I'll start things off with the box. I usually don't do boxes, but I thought this one was actually really cool and nice, so it's worth a look. So, you got this, you know, it's very, um, it's just this half picture of Optimus here. Uh, it's a lot of the uh, wording is all metallic because with the this special edition, Optimus is got this metallic finish as opposed to his uh, plain old matte paint scheme. The side, again, another you know, half image of the Prime himself. The back just shows another half image again, uh, a metallic Autobot symbol, the figure itself, his blaster, and then a little bio that reads, I don't have to tell you what's ahead of us. They have, they have to be stopped, and we're the only ones who can do it. We're Autobots, we never give ground, and we never, never surrender. Um, and then it just has a bunch of legal material at the bottom. Uh, the other side is that, and the bottom not too much there and then the top of course is just his face so I guess when you st when you see other Mighty Mugs boxes they're all faces of characters so like there'll be like an Iron Man one a Spider-Man one and you stack them all together they look pretty cool so yeah that's the box oh and I guess there's the uh, Comic-Con sticker nice metallic thing I don't know whatever that's enough about the box uh, the figure itself he is, of course, Optimus Prime. And like I said, this one's special feature is that it is, or special version, is that it's a metallic finish as opposed to a regular uh, glossy uh, paint finish. And I think he looks pretty good. Um, nice colors all around. We'll start with this head. He's got this nice big head. Nice detailing on uh, the different paint. I love it. I love the way this looks. It's like a... Sort of cute, yet ferocious little dude. Um, great detailing all around on the, on the body and whatnot. Um, he, his shoulders even have, like, you know, little details there. The backside has little dotting going on. And you can tell that the light in this room I have right now is just reflecting really well off him for that metallic finish. So, I mean, uh, that's pretty much what, it, what he is. He doesn't really do much other than that. Um, articulation is basically just his head goes all the way around uh, and then each arm can do I guess it could do a 360 but they just hit his giant head shame that his legs don't do anything but whatever and then of course he comes with a weapon and this is probably the coolest iteration of uh, G1 Prime's blaster it's basically just a shortened out version of it and he can hold it in either hand um, just like that unfortunately he can't bring it all the way up because of his head it does collide but he can hold it and looks pretty cool. Ah, oh, yeah, but that's really uh, all there is to it. If I had any complaints, it would be that uh, I wish that his side antennae were actually molded as opposed to just painted on. Because uh, I know th there's tons of different figures like uh, like uh, Jazz or Bumblebee. The, the Bumblebee one has the ho like the little horns, and the Jazz has them as well. So I don't know why they couldn't put it on Optimus. Uh, but yeah, there you go. Um, not really too much else to say. A very very neat little figure. Uh, definitely pick this one up if if you have the means. I mean, he's definitely a cool thing just to have on your desk, just to stare at all the time. Uh, anyways, this was the review for the Mighty Mugs Optimus Prime, the Comic-Con Special Edition.